In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a KML network link to stream fire data from the NASA Fire Information Resource Management System, also called FIRMS. NASA makes this very easy to access from the website and get it into ATAC. I will also cover how to share these KML network links to the rest of your team. So when we open up ATAC, KML network links are viewed from the Overlay Manager, and they will show up as network resources here. You won't see any network resources listed until we set up a KML network link. Since I don't have a KML network link set up, they're not listed. So let's back out of here and open up the overflow menu and get down to the import button. Click on import and we'll click on KML network link. From here, you would add the name of the KML network link so you can keep track of what data you're turning on and off. And this is where you would paste a URL. And then the auto refresh button, that, that sets how much time expires before ATAC goes back out over the internet and downloads the latest data. And this remove local content upon shutdown, what that does is any data that you streamed, if you have this checked, when you shut ATAC off and you turn it back on, let's say you didn't have internet connectivity, you couldn't get new data. Well, if you have this checked, you're not going to see anything. If you have it unchecked, ATAC will cache that last connection you had and show that data. It's up to you if you want to keep that connected or not. All right, so let's uh, switch apps here and go to the NASA firm's website. And so what we're looking to get to is this active fire data area. And you can do that from here at the home site or we can click this menu here and click active fire data. And Viewing this from um, a computer is really good because then you can get a little bit of background on how this data is collected, how often it's collected as well, and some information about the sensor sensitivity. But we want to go to this note about real-time and ultra-real-time data area here. We want to click on KML Fire Footprints. And this is the API here, and this is where we can grab uh, this data from, this KML network links. You can see the fire point and fire footprint uh, areas. So there's Canada, Alaska, uh, lower United States and Hawaii, uh, Central America, all throughout the world. So we're going to grab this uh, USA and Hawaii data. And we're going to grab um, the last 24 hours of MODIS. We'll start with MODIS. And we'll just hold that down on the 24. And we want to grab copy link address. Now we're going to app switch. We're going to go back over here to ATAC and we're going to paste in that URL. And now we're going to name it. And this was MODIS. And I'm going to do underscore. You can't use a dash in the KML network link name. And we're going to call this USA Hawaii. And this was the last 24 hours. You can kind of do any naming convention you want. But if you forget what you just pasted, you can always scroll over here and say, okay, yeah, this was um, USA and Hawaii in the last 24 hours. And if you scroll all the way over, it gives the whole address here. All right, and we'll leave the remote local content upon shutdown unclicked, and we're gonna hit add. And it'll tell you that it's not going to stream any data until you um, tell it to in ATAC. So hit OK. Now we're going to hit this download button here and hit stream. And now you can see that it's um, starting to stream. And this is a fire they had uh, just outside of uh, Tracy, California yesterday. It ripped off about just under 15,000 acres yesterday of grass. And what you'll notice in ATAC as you're zooming in is that it will start labeling it. And this footprint is the, the, um, the one kilometer footprint around the, the fire detection point. That means that the fire could have been anywhere in this, um, in this 1,000 um, or this uh, one kilometer or 1,000 meter square. All right. And I've noticed too in ATAC as you're as you're um, 
updating that sometimes these these uh, detection footprints change colors. Uh, really not sure where that's coming from in ATAC. It really doesn't affect anything. It's just uh, something you may notice. One thing I'm going to cover is if these labels are bugging you, you can get rid of them and turn them off. So I'll leave them up right now. We'll back out of here and we're going to go to settings. And I'm just going to search for label. And then I can click on this display shape label and turn that off. Now notice when I zoom in, uh, these labels are not here anymore. I'll go ahead and, and turn them back on. And you can just go right back and search for label. And you turn them back on. And when I go back, the labels will be back. Go back to our network resources. All right, so now let's add another one. Once you have a network resource set in here, now you can just hit the plus button. Hit cable network link again. We can app switch. We can go back into the website. And now let's grab um, the VERS NOAA 20. I've noticed that the SNPP has been problematic lately and not streaming. So let's just grab the NOAA 20. And, and the VERS is 375 meter versus a thousand meters or a kilometer that MODIS has. So you get a little bit better resolution. So we'll grab the 24 button here and we'll hit copy link address, go back into ATAC and we'll hit paste. And this was VERS and this was the NOAA 20 and this was USA and Hawaii. And last, oh, I hit the, all right, this was VERS. This was USA and Hawaii. And this was the last 24 hours. All right, I got that the way I want it. We'll auto refresh, hit add, and we'll start streaming. You notice you get this little eyeball here and that can turn off, turn it on off the data. So if I wanted to turn off MODIS, turn off modus and I just have verse so on and so forth so um, remember this is the last 24 hours of data it's collected and you know the heat it saw when it made the pass so you can keep adding um, as many camel network links as as you like uh, in ATAC and we can go back one more um, um, one more section here in the overlay manager and this, now you can see that the network resources are here and you've got two items. And there they are. And you can turn them off independently here. All right, so now you've got these uh, KML network links set up and you wanna share them um, with, with your team. A couple ways you can do that. We can hit the send button and you can hit contact and anybody you're connected to um, on the server at the time, you can just hit select that person and hit send. Another way is to send it to the tax server. So I'm gonna hit send, select tax server, click on it, and it's gonna post it to the tax server. The nice thing there about that is that it's stored there and then anybody that ever connects to your tax server, you can tell them that it was there. They can go to the data package button. They can hit download, click on the tax server, and then you could see that it's there and they can click on that and it'll download that onto their device. All right, and the last way um, you can send it 
is choosing um, choose app. So you can hit choose app and then let's say you're you just want to put this on a Google Drive somewhere or in an email to somebody. I like Google Drive. You could set up a Google Drive folder and then share that with whoever you want. You don't have to be on the same tax server. You can hit your Google Drive. It's going to post it up to the drive. Now let's say uh, someone else is connected to that drive. We'll simulate that now. I don't have any of these KML network links. I just want to go to um, this Google Drive. I can go up here and you can see that the VERS is here right now. And now I'm a user. I can hit download. It's downloaded. I'll app switch. I'll go back into ATAC. I'm simulating. I don't have this KML network link. I would go down to my import tool, browse my local drive, go down to download, filter by date, and there it is. I can, I can click on it and hit OK and import it. So I hope this uh, video was helpful in showing off uh, how you can use this NASA firm's data, bring it in as a KML network link, and then share it across your team. Thanks for watching.